Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're covering what's new in the new Windows 11 update 24H2. This update is newly released to Windows and comes with a few exciting new features. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. I'll put those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so here we are on my desktop. I just upgraded to Windows 11 24H2. Before we jump into what's new, let's actually cover how to get this update. You can start by going to Windows key and I, which will pull up your settings. Once in here, we can go to Windows update at the very bottom. You can press check for updates. And if you see the update here, go ahead and follow the prompts to update. In my case, I did not see the update here, so I actually had to manually download the ISO file. If you want to do that, simply go to aka.ms slash download Windows 11. Once here, you can either download the installation assistant, or if you wanna keep it nice and easy, what I did is I just did the Windows 11 disk image ISO. So just by downloading this and following along with the prompts here, it's gonna download the correct image file. I'll show you guys what mine actually looks like. And as you can see, this is what the file looks like, and we can see the 24H2 telling us that this is the latest new update for Windows. I can then right click and mount this and follow along with the prompts to go ahead and do an in-place upgrade on my operating system. Luckily, since I already have Windows 11 running, that whole process only took about 10 minutes. So one of the big things that's, so one of the big things coming with this update inside of Windows 11 is going to be the full integration of Microsoft Copilot. We can see that little icon here, which is next to the desktop icon. This is Copilot. And it's now gonna have its own little web window that opens up. I can immediately start messaging Copilot. I can also sign into the software here. So maybe let's start by doing that. We're gonna sign in with our Microsoft account and I'm gonna start by asking it a simple question. What is the current weather in Austin, Texas? All right, and here we are getting the current weather here in Austin from Microsoft Copilot. If you'd like to see that video, we'll put it right here. Another big thing we now have inside of the file explorer is better archiving and compression options. All right, now let's say I wanna take one of these folders here and I want to compress it as a zip file because I wanna upload it to Dropbox and send it to a client. I'm gonna right click the folder and I'll hover over send to. This is gonna pull up some additional options here. As we can see, I can compress to a zip folder. So we'll press that. That's gonna create that zip file for us. So this is a new and very useful feature inside of this Windows update. Next up, let's talk about a couple of new features. If I go to personalization from the settings menu here, we have a new section here called dynamic lighting. Now being early on, I wasn't able to have too much success with this just yet. And I believe that's because the supported device list is still rather small. Dynamic lighting is basically aiming to be one centralized platform or software that you can control all of your external RGBs and peripherals from when it comes to lighting. Again, I was not able to get this to work. As you can see, it is recognizing my keyboard, uh, but still I was, not, I was unable to control the lighting with it just yet. I do believe that once this has been out for a while and the compatibility list grows, this will work as intended, and it's basically going to eliminate the need to have seven different third-party applications just to get your lights the same color. Next up, I'm gonna click over to System. And we're gonna click inside of this little tab called For Developers. At the bottom, we can see we now have something called sudo, traditionally available inside of Linux. sudo is the command that gives us admin privileges even when we're logged into a standard profile. This is typically available on Linux and Mac operating systems, but now we have this available inside of Windows. It's important to exercise some caution when using sudo, because as we can see, running the command could expose our device and personal data. One more thing we wanna explore inside of settings here, we're gonna go back to system and I'm gonna click power. We have a new mode here called energy saver. This was normally previously only available on laptop devices, but I can now use this on my desktop computer if I wanna save power for any other reason than just battery life. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about some of these new features coming to the 24H2 Windows 11 update, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make for you guys. So if you have a specific topic that you'd like to see us cover, we encourage you to drop that in the comments below as well. And most of these requests are made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.